everyone and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. I am currently playing in version 1.5. Today is going to be a much shorter episode. I recently downloaded a new editing software and so I'm going to try that out. So I'm only going to play through one in-game day and we'll see how that works for us. For now, let's go ahead and look at our menu just to see where we're at with things. So currently our skills are at level one for farming, mining, foraging, and fishing. And if we look at our social skills, we have made friends with Caroline and Willie. And I still have to try and woo one of the bachelors or bachelorettes so I can get a partner to dance with at the Spring Flower Dance, which is coming up at the end of the month. And then uh, we have all of these crafting recipes here. Last episode, we did craft a scarecrow, but we didn't get around to crafting a furnace. We still have less than 20 copper ore uh, to our name, so we need to get some more of that. Here are our collections. Here's all the things that we've sold so far. Not much. And then here are all the fish that we've caught. We haven't collected any artifacts, but we have gotten two minerals now, which is awesome. So the plan that I have for today, besides doing some farming, is collecting the rest of that copper ore. So we're going to go back into the mines and get some of that. This letter says, I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurer spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay 10 slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful, Marlin. So that should mean that we now have a new journal entry, initiation. So we should slay 10 slimes. So we'll try and get that done in the mines today and try and gain some combat skill as well. Let's go ahead and let's collect our crops. It looks like a few of them grew. We've got a tulip and some potatoes. All right. We'll look in our chest and uh, we can, we're gonna keep both potatoes right now. One for myself and one for the community center as well. And that tulip there, that's a gold quality tulip right there. We're gonna keep that as well. So we're no make we're we are not making any profit from farming today. However, we do have some retaining soil and we have some empty spots. I think we should go back to Pierre's and we can go ahead and get some more seeds. Uh, before that, it's only eight o'clock. Let's head over there so we can be there bright and early. It is uh, 8.40, Pierre's isn't open. We'll check the trash while we wait. We got a cola. We got a daffodil. Let's talk to Alex. Hey. You know what? Let's give Alex this daffodil. Thanks! I think that he was pretty neutral on that. He didn't have an opinion left or right. Let's go talk to Pierre. And we might as well get some more potato seeds. Yeah, we'll get some more potato seeds. Let's do one more tulip bulb to replenish that and then we'll do the rest in potatoes. There we go. So we got a bunch more crops that we're gonna plant and hopefully some of that other crop will grow in and we'll actually be able to start making money on it. We need to get one of those coops pretty quickly. Let's see, we did get some of that retaining soil in our last. Oh, you can actually add it on plants that have already grown. That's good to know. Uh, we did get some retaining soil in our last trip to the mines, so that's pretty good. Now, this has already been kind of a hodgepodge. I wasn't expecting to start organizing my crops this season. Not until next season, anyway. Oh, I'm trying to use the axe. But what I really want is the hoe. We need 
four. There we go. All of our crops are planted and watered. Let's put our watering can in the uh, chest. We don't need that anymore. And I don't plan on using the scythe or the axe today. We're going to go directly to the mines. We'll need our rusty sword, a pickaxe, and a hoe. And I've also kept the Joja Cola. And I think I have a person in mind that I want to actually gift that to. And if I remember right, today is actually Mayor Lewis's birthday. And as such, we should also give him a present. And I think that he might like, out of all the things that we have, I think he would like a silver quality parsnip. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I did forget to check the TV this morning, and so I think we'll have to go look at the TV. And it looks like we have an episode of Queen of Sauce today. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, stir fry. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens onto your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. You learned how to cook stir fry. So that was the Queen of Sauce, which happens a new episode happens every Sunday, and you get reruns, I believe, on Wednesdays. So if you forget to check the TV on Sunday, you can always go back on Wednesday and perhaps learn a new recipe. Let's check the weather for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. And of course, let's see what our luck is today. Ah, they are somewhat annoyed. Luck will not be on our side. So we've had a string of bad luck days lately, which is highly unfortunate. So we are going mining. However, I'm going to take the long way around to check for forage, like spring onions. We have to talk to Mayor Lewis and find Sam. Sam loves the Joja Cola. And so if you can get him one of those, you will increase your friendship with him for sure. So I'm not gonna go around the entire forest today. I just wanna go get those spring onions. We haven't collected those in quite a few days, actually. Well, here we have Leah. We might as well say hi to her. If you hear any banging from inside my hut, it's probably just me working on one of my sculptures. That's all she has to say. It's good to know. Leah likes to work on sculptures. Oh wow, look at that. Whopping two whole spring onions today. Oh, actually, five spring onions. And one of them was gold quality and the other one was silver. No other forge. We can go back up this way wherever that may be. We might as well give Leah a present. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. And we might, there's Abigail. Let's talk to her first before we do anything. Oh man, I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling another all-nighter. Here, you can also have a spring onion, Abigail. What am I supposed to do with this? Abigail does not appreciate a good onion. I was really hoping to find Sam. There's Emily. Hi, Eclipse. Do you raise sheep in your barn? Can you turn their wool into beautiful bolts of cloth? Well, that's good to know, Emily. However, I don't have a barn to raise sheep in yet. Hi! Do you have fun working on the farm? Why, yes I do, Maru. Well, that's good, isn't it? 
Sorry, I'm not giving everyone their gifts because I want to keep some of those onions for the mines. I want to eat something. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sound of sea makes going to sleep a lot easier. As kids, we hunted for seashells after the tide went out. Those were the days. Oh, there's Lewis on his birthday. Let's go get him. Ah, don't accidentally give it to Penny. Lewis, stop. Stop walking for just like a second, will you? A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Sniff, sniff. Ah, I sense you've been spending some time in the old community center. It's good to know someone's taking care of the place. And there's Penny. Penny and Maru are best friends. Hello. Um, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? Sorry. We already talked to Alex today. What, you want to talk to me? I'm busy. You're busy looking at what I think is a dog, but I've never seen in there the entire time I've played this game. Caroline. Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. Do you ever take a day off? All right, going down into the mines. We're gonna go straight to level five and start crackalacking these boulders open. All right, so it is 10 o'clock and I do want to start leaving the mines. However, I'm pretty sure I still don't have enough copper or to craft a furnace. I don't actually remember how much I have. We're definitely not going to make it to uh, level 10 in the mines today. So we're just going to get out of here and head home. All right, so we're back home. We're going to drop all of our stuff off in the chest that we want to keep. We have something to give to Gunther again. We have a couple things to give to Gunther. We still haven't donated the amethyst either. And we'll sell one of these as well. As it turns out, we actually do have all of the tools for a furnace, so we're going to craft ourselves a furnace. And yeah, let's see here. We will put the furnace right there. We don't have enough copper to craft an iron bar yet, though. We'll sell the rest in the shipping bin. And it's midnight, so we are going to go ahead and we're going to go to sleep. Yes.
So we made 47 gold today, 22 in the foraging and 25 in mining. And we did not level up in combat, considering how poorly I did at it. Does not, it does not uh, surprise me. That does conclude day seven in our Stardew Valley game. Uh, that is the end of today's episode. So if you enjoyed this, please be sure to drop a like. And if you want to keep watching more gaming content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. And I want to thank you all for joining me today. And I will see you all next time.